Recently, a report was published in the state-sponsored newspaper that the Chinese giant sky eye radio telescope may have captured scenes of alien civilization. Yes, sometime after it was published. That report and all other news related to it were also deleted. In the deleted report, Zhang Tongyu, the scientist who needs to search team for extraterrestrial civilization at Beijing Normal University, had a statement. The scientist was saying that the narrowband electromagnetic signals detected by FAST, nicknamed Sky Eye, the world's largest radio telescope, were different from those captured earlier, and that his team would continue to investigate them. It is unclear exactly why this report was removed from the website of the Science and Technology Daily, which is affiliated to Ministry of Science and Technology of China. But after the news was published, it started trending on the social media site Weibo and was translated into other languages by other media outlets. Therefore, there are more rumors circulating on the internet than scientific data. Zhang's team, this is science thing in the report, has been studying the data of the telescope not only recently, but also in 2020 they have detected two sets of intriguing signals. Now another one has been added to team. Another new signal from the exoplanets they are examining. So, how they received these signals? Looking up the sky with a giant eye located in the southwest of China. This object you see is 500 meters a diameter, half a kilometer. In any case, its name is also an aberration of FAST, created from the English internet of the world, spherical radio telescope with a span of 500 meters, which also means FAST. This facility, which was opened in 2020, has won the title of the largest radio telescope in the world. In the movie Contact Message, where Carl Sagan was the father of the idea, there was a giant dish used to listen to message that could have been sent from extraterrestrial civilization. For about half a century, the 300 meter Arecibo telescope in the Puerto Rico had served as the most powerful radio telescope. However, unfortunately, in a tragic accident that occurred in recent years. He had to retire after resolving very difficult to repair damage. The Zenit telescope called FAST, which replaced it, is much larger and three times more sensitive. Do not look at what this giant object looks like a dish. It was created by combining 4450 different aluminum panels in a triangular shape. It was built in a remote place. 18 kilometers from the nearest Rissan Detail Center, so that it could be located on an isolated and solid ground from the surrounding area. It was placed in a natural pit made of limestone. We see another good example of engineering here. Normally, we move the TV dish and then place it on the roofs to receive a satellite broadcast to get a better signal. Come on, that's how you moved the one or two meter antennas. How can you move a giant? 500 meter dish you can't place. That's why China's engineering have installed 2,225 engines there, coordinated with computers. These motors allow the steel mesh on which the aluminum ball seems to be stretched up and down in various directions. In other words, they made a dish in a dish. With the help of the second parabola-shaped dish, this telescope is able to focus directly on targets A140 degrees away from its axis in the sky, despite the rotational motion of the Earth. And what is he studying? He has some important scientific tasks. For example, he's trying to map the natural hydrogen gas in the Milky Way galaxy at a high resolution. Like other radio telescopes, he observes pulsars. He's already discovered more than 100 pulsars while he's still in the testing phase. Among his tests is the disciple molecules in interstellar space. Finally, SETI has its mission, so he's researching extraterrestrial intelligence. For this purpose, fast radio bursts, which we can translate as replied with fast radio bursts, briefly looks at FRB signals. These are the kind of signals that are very strong at their source, but become very, very weak when they reach us, which can I call unusual. It's so weak that the power of the signal reaching the Earth is 1000 times less than that of a mobile phone on the Moon. As such, there is a possibility that the signals might interfere with each other, 
interference stations may occur. As a matter of fact, a 5 km diameter area around the FAST telescope in China has been declared the radio silence region. In other words, it's forbidden to bring electronic devices such as mobile phones and computers within 5 km of the facility. It also makes a lot of sense to make such restriction, because other telescopes have captured signals similar to those captured by this telescope in the past. For example, in 1998, the 64 meter diameter Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia captured signals of a few milliseconds. These were similar to FRB signals and were picked up again at certain periods until 2010, but later they were called periton. The name of a mythological creature, it is very clever to give signals such a name, because the shadow of the mythological peritons, depicted as one gene there, was similar to a human being, although it seems that these signals were sent by humans or intelligent creatures, they were not. So at least the source wasn't extraterrestrial. Later, they realized that the signals were influenced by a microwave oven that was left open near the facility. Yes, sensing are supposed to always leave the doors of the to open their the minds. The Chinese science things who gave the statement in these reports, which has already been deleted, also did not miss the possibility that the signals they detected may have been affected by interference. But some of this report was hastily removed from the official website by the state authorities, perhaps out of concern that we would not be disgraced day by day. Meanwhile, the Chinese authorities had invited Westerners there who wanted the science to work on fast telescope. These signals are caused by radio interference. They are not caused by ET, but by radio pollution from earthlings says SETI researcher Dan Wertheimer of the University of California, who knows the science team working on this project and the work they are doing, stating the fast signals do not come from an advanced civilization. The technical term we use is RFI, radio frequency interference. RFI can come from mobile phones, TV transmitters, radars, satellites, he explains. SETI researchers have so far identified around the world. All these and similar signals from another civilization, but appropriate to affect us back again to things that are marred by our civilization. It is becoming increasingly difficult to conduct SETI observations from the surface of our planet. Radio pollution is getting worse, as more and more transmitters and satellites are being produced. It has now become impossible to use some radio bands for SETI. Perhaps the next thing to do is to uh, dig a hole in the dark side of the moon away from us and place an antenna there, rather than continuing these things on Earth anymore. Only for a similar reason, we had to the Webb telescope one million kilometers from Earth, unlike Hubble. Meanwhile, NASA has announced that it will the first official images from him to the public in a live broadcast on July 12. Do not forget to be if you are not a subscriber, open your reminders and stay on old.